fabulously planned and I'm really excited to finally film a Halloween plan with me. So this time I'm going to be using the Trick or Treat collection from my shop which is still available and I'm going to be using two clips from Southern Mess Designs that she made last year. I had, I bought, well I kind of went a little crazy last year on the Halloween clips and bought so many that I didn't even open them all. So I'm excited to use these. I thought they were gonna, I thought they would look really cute with this spread. So let's go ahead and get started. I need a clip in here right now. I have so many. So here's this week so far. I used the Fall Fox collection that I released last weekend. So I'm going to skip ahead. I really want the trick or treat to be used during Halloween. So I guess that's really pushing it into, well, there's November. I really hate how this works out in the planner this year. Kind of stinks, but I'm going to go a little bit in advance and use it right here for Halloween itself because this is my favorite kit that I made and I'm really excited to use it. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I always do is, well, I kind of switch it up sometimes. It's not what I always do, but what I like to do is I'll go ahead and put down the washi, and this washi is so cute. It's the little spider webs. Lay that down. What really drew me to this kit was this light purple, which is rare to see in a Halloween kit. I thought this print was absolutely adorable and I had to have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the date cover-ups here. So I'm gonna be celebrating Halloween well into the first week of November, which is totally fine. I love Halloween. I love Halloween decorations. They make everything so much more fun. This video is going to go up sometime today, and currently I have a giveaway going on on my previous video for the new mini happy planner, which is really cute. So you might want to check that out. I'll link it in the bottom bar below. Um, let's see, let me make sure, still in, alright, so then we're going to put the little dinner sticker down here, you know, I think I still have some Halloween washi from last year from Michael's, and they released the same stuff this year, so I didn't buy any, but I can't find it, I know I have it around here somewhere but I don't really need any washi to go with this because it is super cute. So we can put, let's put this guy down just to make that a little bit. And then I'll probably put down, well, let's go ahead and put down these guys. Yeah, I love that light colored purple so much. And the colors for this kit in general, not just that purple, are so bright and fun. I think everything is going to go really nice. And the clips that I picked to match will look a darling. I love on um, uh, Planners Gone Wild, a girl posted a picture of her planner like with a costume on and she was like, does this costume make my planner look big? <laughs> it was dressed up like um, a potato, Mr. Potato Head. It was so cute. 
So then I'm gonna do this one here. I like to have this little grocery list to the side. I thought about doing the sidebar things that say like Monday through Friday or whatever, but I don't know. If you have any interest in those, let me know. Just leave a comment in the bottom bar below. So we'll do groceries. I love how this says trick or treat small my feet. I'm really just a kid. To be perfectly honest. I don't think I grew up and I don't really care. <laughs> um, I like being silly and just have a good time. And of course nothing in my life goes well. <sighs> So we're gonna lay down the weekend banner, which again, matches my washi. I don't always do that on purpose, but sometimes it just turns out that way. And then I don't realize it. <laughs> oh well, it's cute. I'm gonna put down my todays. What'd you guys think of yesterday is $1 Wednesday? A lot of people were really excited about the Hocus Pocus mini sheets and the glitter headers, surprisingly. I only did two different color choices for the glitter headers. If it's something that you guys would like to see just like in my shop on a regular basis, I can definitely do that. I can make them to match the kits or whatever. Just let me know. And the best place to like keep caught up on information for my page is um, Facebook. So I'll post, I usually post everything there first, like sales, new releases, um, order statuses, things like that. They all go there first. So um, I'll link my Facebook page in the bottom bar below. I also do a lot of updates on Instagram as well. But Facebook is really the best place to go. Alright. These colors just speak to me. They're so cute. My husband just drove by. He just dropped my son off for um, school and I saw him out my window because I can see the main road. He's going to get coffee. For me, I have a free one on my Starbucks card, so I'm really excited about that. I like free coffee. These are just so cute. I wish my son wasn't so old. I don't think he wants to dress up this year. He's 14. I think he's too cool. But it would be really fun if he did want to dress up. There's a lot of cute costumes. I kind of want, well, and I tried it on at Target. There's just like this donut that you put on, like a sandwich board sign, and it's really cute. I want to be a donut. I'll put this one here. And see how I kind of color coordinated so I put the blue with the blue the purple with the purple okay so I wasn't a huge fan of using the checklists in my last week's spread I'm really not a, I like the checklist like this and I like that but I'm not a huge, huge fan of having double checklists in this spread. I don't have that much stuff going on. I'm usually just working, like every day. So, 
filling orders. I don't have that many exciting things going on. So I'll lay that one down. So I think this week I'm going to go back to using my TV shows because there's a lot like Wednesday. There's so many shows. I don't really think there's much on Monday, so I'm only going to put one. But Tuesday we have Scream Queens, which is my favorite. Except, so like next week it's not going to be on. I don't know how that's going to affect this week. It's hard to plan that far in advance for TV shows, but I know I have at least two on Tuesdays. Last night, which was Wednesday, we watched... Um, what did we watch? Okay, so we watched The Goldbergs, Speechless, which is a new show that's super good with Minnie Driver, is that her name? It's really funny. So we watched Speechless. We watched, um, okay. So Goldbergs, Speechless, and then we watched Criminal Minds. I know there's like a whole bunch more that come on, but here, and I'm not really used to it in the Pacific Northwest, like the shows come on really late. And that super bugs me um, because I can't watch everything that night because it just comes on way too late. So I have to record it and watch it another day. So, and I know there's good stuff on Thursdays, so I'm going to put a few down. And when in doubt, I watch The Young and the Restless every day. So, <laughs> if I don't have um, enough to put down, I can always write in Young and the Restless. So, I'm going to put a meal one down on each of these two. And I know I have the dinners over here, so I think I'm going to try and keep track of my lunches because I never eat lunch. I feel like I've said that before. I'm getting a bit of deja vu here. Okay. I don't really watch TV on Friday. We usually watch a movie. <clears throat> so maybe I'll put the movie marquee there. We haven't been going to the movies a lot. They're super expensive here in Washington. We used to go all the time when we lived in Missouri. When everything was cheaper and life was simpler. And yeah. Kind of miss it. I love being near my family, but I also love being able to go out and do things, which is something we aren't able to do here. Like there's so much to do, but you gotta have like the funds to do it. And with cost of living being is so insane here, it's really tough. This one did not peel off well. So I need to double check and make sure all my cutters are being on their best behavior because clearly one of them wasn't so I'm only gonna have two habit trackers which is fine because clearly I don't have it track anyway I try to but I'm not good at it so then we can put we'll put this guy here and here. Cute, cute, cute. And then I can cover it up with a witch's hat. How fun is that? Okay. So we're going to do that and then I'm going to go in and put these little half boxes here. So I'll put one here. And yeah, I'm going to have a little bit of space and that's fine. I can always fill it in later if I need to. And obviously I'm not planning this far in advance. Ooh, that one doesn't fit. We'll put that one here. That's because I have too many little guys there. So we'll leave that. Flip it over. I don't know why my neighbors always have to get on it when they're driving down the street. I mean, come on. It's not like that was a really super cool car or anything either. 
And they're building so many houses around us that there's like constant construction going on. It drives me nuts. Okay. So we'll put those there. Put my little planner guy down. And we'll go through and put in a few more of these little witches hats. Because they're so cute. This just didn't go over really well on this whole entire sheet. What a pain in the box. Okay, so we'll stick this one here. Really just messed up that whole sticker. Okay, so then we always have trash day. And of course that one won't come up either. And I don't want to waste another sheet. <laughs> it's not really wasting, but for my planner, I always feel like it's a waste. So this is what we have left. Maybe I'll go through and lay down some of my Halloween munchkins. That'll be cute. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what I've got here. Ew, I'm definitely laying down one of these family time stickers for Halloween because we always do something. Even if we're not, like, he doesn't trick or treat anymore, but we do watch a scary movie. Oops, let me move that over a little bit. And that's really cute. So we got that. And then I'm going to go through, I think I have some Halloween munchkins in here. I do right there. Those are so cute. I'll just grab one of these and put it down because that is adorable. And I love this little pumpkin one too. So we'll do that. That'll be fun. I'm hoping that since we're in a house, we'll get some trick-or-treaters this year. I'm really excited for that. So that's what I've got so far. I don't want to use the water trackers anymore because I just don't use them. So I've taken them out of all of the new kits. <clears throat> and I promise if you decide to order this kit, I'll make sure they're all cut right. Silly machines, they never do exactly what we need them to when we need them to do it. They kind of have minds of their own. Alright. Oh my gosh, these are so perfect. Look how cute that is. I'm really excited and I love how that this whole entire kit turned out. So there we have it. This is the Trick or Treat collection and it looks really cute. And these two clips are from Southern Mess Designs and I think they perfectly like make the whole thing. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!